welcome to Sound Awesome Games. I'm Rob. We are playing Battlefield Hardline. If you enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Battlefield Hardline. And leave a like. That way I know. And a comment. That, tell me if you enjoy this video. So we're doing Hotwire. This is like a Grand Theft Auto. You steal cars and stuff. But we're a police officer. I did not mean to swap seats there. So our goal is to just take a car and drive it around for as long as possible. It's kind of like Capture the Flag or Conquest, but with something that moves. That guy is going up to E. I will go up to C in my bike here. We have no one sitting with us, so we're a very <laughs> easy target. Oh, God. Okay, we got a friend with us. Nope, he's gone. Thanks, man. If you jump on the back of someone's bike, help him out. Oh, there was the car. We just ran over it, and I need to get out of here. I'm getting shot at. Oh, is that a helicopter? Oh, a helicopter is coming after me. We need to get under this bridge. Oh, God. I turned left way too soon. Get under the bridge. Safety. Don't go out of bounds. All right. Swing it back. Let's go. Let's boogie. There's E. Yay, we got a friend with us. All right, finally. Some protection. You can shoot. You can save our ass. And we're both dead. I'm sorry, man. I kind of have a love-hate with this game. I enjoy single player. I haven't finished all the single player. I like the episodic style of it. Uh, it kind of says to me that it was going to be like uh, Telltale style or Life is Strange, you know, that it might have been like a, uh, here's part one of Battlefield Hardline, here's part two, uh, released regularly, but then I think it became a full game, and I gotta say, I don't know if I like it, I'll never play single player again once I've finished it, just because you cannot skip cutscenes, what the hell, like, it's all rendered, so you kind of have to sit through it, alright, we got a truck here, oh yes, baby, so this is kind of like, need, uh, not need for speed, just speed, just straight up speed the movie. Drive as fast as you can. Do not go too slow or you'll start losing points. Not losing points, you just want to keep getting points. So you capture the truck, we just keep on driving around. But like I said, I have a love-hate relationship with this game. I don't, I, I do dig single player story. Whoops, wrong way. But multiplayer, I can't get into. I'm, I'm struggling to enjoy this. Like, I'm trying hot wire because it seems like fun, I guess, driving around. More vehicle based. Dude, stop swerving. You ch I want to go fucking straight, man. Dick, there's a freaking bike behind me sniping. I just want to go straight and get out of here. You are annoying. Get Move, man. Move, jerk. Oh, there goes the bike. Please don't kill us, man. Oh, God. Hit a wall. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, no, he's going to snipe us. Chop turn, chop turn, chop turn. All right, I think we've lost him. I think we're good. But yeah, as I said, I have a love hate relationship. I love Battlefield as a franchise. The ones that DICE have made. Uh, Battlefield 3 was easily my favorite. That was, I played the crap out of that. You've probably seen some of my tank videos I did. I loved driving around in a tank. The closest thing I've come to a tank in this is some armored van that has guns on it. So I enjoy, if there's a match with that in it, I'm happy. That keeps me happy. Driving around in that shooting dude. I'm not a player who likes running around on the ground shooting people. I don't enjoy that. I'm a vehicle player. That's why I'm going hotwire for this one. So you can cruise around. But the game, I don't think it's that good. I think this is one of the crappiest battlefields ever. Uh, it feels like a knockoff. You know how like mobile games, like Flappy Bird comes out and then there's a million Flappy Birds that come out? It feels like Battlefield Hardline is a knockoff of Battlefield. It's ugly as shit, first of all. Like, this game is not a good looking game. So, uh, I know it's, but it's not by dust. Visceral Games made this. And Visceral Games, I like Visceral Games. Uh, they made Dead Space. And I don't know, this is, I need to, actually should have looked this up. I feel like they made a Need for Speed game at some point. And they've just turned that into this. I'm pretty sure Visceral Games made a Need for Speed game. And uh, now Steve Paputis is gone. I met Steve Paputis last year at Gamescom. It was, inc it was so awkward. It was incredibly awkward. If you know Charlanazard or Alana Pierce, uh, <laughs> man, that was the most awkward person I've ever met. Man, that guy's flipping out. That guy's losing his shit. Uh, but we're in games when we're in the EA, like, private area for, like, uh, press and stuff. Like, all the cool kids hang out there. Uh, and I, I was peeing a lot. Like, they had in the EA area, they had, like, a bar and stuff in there. Um, and you could get these, like, vitamin waters. Like, everything was free. You get all these vitamin waters. I was drinking the shit out of them because I felt like crap that day. Like, I think... The night before we went out, I'm going to run this guy down. Yeah, bitch. Uh, the night before, we went out to this, like, Mexican underground restaurant place with all these Xbox people and that. 
and we had these steaks and mine was disgustingly raw like if you cut it it bled it was like I was killing it as I was eating it like I was eating a live thing and I had to kill it on my plate uh, so I got incredibly sick that night after eating that whether it was from that I'm not sure but I have a theory my body did not enjoy a stomach full of blood and stuff and then like 4 a.m. I was just up and just chucking so I felt like crap that day we met Steve Apudis. So I was drinking all these vitamin waters. It's important to the story, by the way. Uh, so I was drinking all these vitamin waters, and they turns out if you drink a lot of them, you pee a lot, like a lot. So I was peeing a lot. Uh, like I was just hanging out in the EA area that, this whole day, pretty much playing The Sims 4 and stuff. And Battlefield, actually, Battlefield Highline. That's why Steve Apudis was there. He was showing that off. Uh, and I bumped, like, I was in the toilet, and I saw this guy, like, we were peeing, and I was like, oh, that guy looks really fucking familiar. And, um, on the way out, he, he left first, and I was walking behind him. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's a Dead Space guy, because I, like, love Dead Space too. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Steve Apudis, like, the dude from all the Dead Space videos. Like, he's a funny dude, like, in all the, all the videos. So I thought he would be that way in real life, like, energetic and amusing. And, uh, so I was like, Steve! And he turned around and I was like, fuck yeah, it is him. So I have a chat to him. And it was the most awkward conversation ever. Like, he, he just ha he had nothing to say to me. <laughs> like, he was like, oh shit, and this guy who fucking talked to me, I've got shit to do. I'm showing off my game. But uh, yeah, he like, I was like, I'm not normally the one to press the questions. I'm normally like, enjoy it, like answering questions, someone talks to me. Uh, but I had to keep pressing questions. Like, oh, how you doing, man? How what's up? What are you showing today? Showing Battlefield Hardline? He's just like, yep, yeah. He just seemed really down to me. And <laughs> and then Charla Nazard, uh, or Alana Pierce, depending how you know her, uh, she comes along and she she sees me talking to him. She comes over and starts chatting. And um, I introduce Steve to her and I'm like, oh, Steve, this is Alana. And I'm like, Alana, this is Steve Papoudis. And she was like, oh, yeah, cool. Who's Steve Papoudis? And I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> You say, you say that to the man's face. I'm like, oh, he made Dead Space and stuff. I don't think she played any of them, and she did not give a shit that she, <laughs> who she was talking to, and he was just not into it, and it, we were just like, you know when you're just talking and you just, or everyone just starts nodding their head, like, yep, yep, and no one knows how to end the conversation and just get back to the shit they want to do? It was fucking awkward, man. Like, it was the weirdest conversation. It was probably the worst experience at Gamescom I had. <laughs> it was just meeting, meeting a developer that I like was happy to meet, and it was just yeah, it was. It brought me down. I felt sick enough already that day, and then meeting Sleep for Pudis and having it just be like the saddest conversation in the world didn't feel good. But that same day, actually speaking of, you guys know I love the shit out of Evolve, obviously because I've like spammed them everywhere on my channel. Uh, Look at my chopper skills, man. I'm actually, I'm actually getting the hang of this. When I first played this, I crushed the shit out of him. But I think I, I changed the controls. Now I got this, and that guy is losing his shit still. He's going crazy. Funny dude. I'm just trying to fly around. I'm just dropping people. I'm playing soccer mom here. I'm going ultimate soccer mom and just driving everyone to where they need to go. Hey buddy, why don't you drop out of B? Yeah, go. Ultimate soccer mom, Rob, for the rescue. But speaking of, as I was saying about games gone. Uh, that same day, now we felt like crap, we went after, like, pretty much, um, we didn't have that many meetings or anything that day, uh, and, but we did have Evolve with 2k, so I've been downing, once again, back to the mineral waters, these are important, so I've been downing these mineral waters all day, like, from morning till, it must have been, like, 3pm, and so imagine how many mineral waters you can drink from, like, 10 o'clock to 3 p.m. That's like, you're like five hours. And if you're drinking one like every 20 minutes, uh, and I also had Minx, if you know Minx, uh, she streams on Twitch and stuff. Uh, she hung out with me a couple times when I was there and she got into them, she started drinking them too. I was like, uh, I was a mineral water pusher at this time. And um, we were drinking them and we had Evolve after that. And I had down so many and I didn't really know what Evolve was. And we played it with the developers. So you, you know, if you watch the streams and stuff, those dudes were there. And we played it with them. And uh, we're like, we're, we're, they were in the room. We played it and they showed it to us. And then we played against, uh, what the hell was that guy's name? Vicstar or some shit? We played against him, we beat him, he was a monster. I just got fucking shanked! Oh man! 
Too busy telling stories, crashing my helicopter. Pay attention to the game, man. Uh, but we beat Vicstar. We play as a hunter team. I actually have that footage. It's actually Alana's footage because we only captured one gameplay. Um, but I have that footage on my channel where we beat him. It was like early Evolve days, I guess. Well, not early, early Evolve days, but like pre-release Evolve. Pre-beta, pre-alpha. Uh, but we're playing that. And I just, I had to give up a couple of turns. So I think I had two matches or a match and a half or a match and a quarter. Because I just had to keep peeing. Like, they'd set it up, and they'd be, like, in this cool room and stuff. We'd all be playing on these, like, high-tech PCs, with, but with Xbox One controllers. And then we'd just start playing, and I'd just get up and fucking <laughs> leave. Like, leave the entire, like, private area, and just go find a toilet, and just pee. And then I'd come back and start playing, and I'd just get up again, and I'd just go on. Like, the wind, I was peeing like crazy. Not the best way to play a team game. But luckily, we had a fill-in. Like, I would just tag them in, and then I'd go off and urinate like a boss. And that guy's gonna snipe the shit out of me. We can get this. We can get Car E. I love that I'm so, like, not focused on what I'm doing. I'm kind of focused. Semi-focused. I'm gonna get this guy. Nah. Okay, let's go for C. We get C. As long as I don't die. But yeah, as I was saying, that was the first time I played Evolve. And it was pretty awesome. And I couldn't... Like, I wish I knew then what I knew now. Obviously, everyone wishes that. But I wish I knew I was gonna be so involved in Evolve. So involved in Evolve. Uh, and enjoy it so much that I could appreciate that I'm playing in a room with the people who made it Back then I really didn't like I didn't know what it was So I didn't really get it But now if I could go back and play in that room and talk to those people again That would be like it's like a highlight of my life that I want like something I want out of life Like meeting those guys again and chatting to them is something I've already done. Isn't that funny? Like, you, I want to do something. Like, I always watch a stream and think, Oh, man, that'd be cool to talk to them about Evolve. It's like, you fucking did that, man. You had, you had that chance. Like, you've already done that. But, yeah. It's, it's a weird thing to say. Like, you don't appreciate it because you don't know that it's worth appreciating until after it's done. Uh, cruise through here. Screw you, cars. Hopefully they're not chasing us. By the way, I got the radio off. You see how it says radio? I've got it off because I'm pretty sure it pumps out a whole bunch of copyrighted songs. And this video would probably not exist. So if other people, like other YouTubers, leave them on and you say, Hey, man, but he leaves them on, they're fine. That's cool. Uh, but I don't know. I'm going to... For the first video, I'm not going to try it. Because then it won't exist. You guys won't see it. So that'd be stupid. And you would miss all my awesome stories that I'm telling because I've totally got my head in the game. It's funny. I was way more... Like, now is the perfect time to tell stories. I'm just driving around aimlessly. But instead, when I'm focusing on getting cars, I'm telling stories. Maybe if I was focusing on the game, I would have played better. I don't know. I reckon we've done pretty well. I feel like we've, uh... I'm getting my horn going. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, jeez. Man, way to crash. Way to crash. We gotta get out of here. Cruise away from that guy. As long as he doesn't hop out. Yeah, I got a friend! I lost a friend. Did he die? Oh, shit. No, he just jumped out. Okay. Focus on driving, Rob. Focus on driving. There's a bike. Let's not go that go that way then. It looked like there was two people on that bike. Not safe. We could just do doughies down here in the water. Gone in 60 seconds style. Oh, I hit a wall! We're okay. We're okay. Keep capturing it. Get those points. Everyone told me this was a good way to uh, get points, was playing hot wire. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm pretty low level still. Whoa! Jeez, you gotta be careful because people on the back of bikes in this mode, they all have grenade launchers. I was hoping that guy would hop in. I beeped him. That guy is losing his shit still. Oh, 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 we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. What other stories do I have? What it, I did... The game was gone was pretty cool. That was last year. It'd be good to go again out uh, of Germany and that. But, um, yeah, we played Battlefield Hardline there. We had a presentation. Uh, they showed all this stuff off. It actually looked, like, pretty good back then. I mean, that's with everything. It always looks... God damn! Oh, see, what I tell you? Grenade launches for the win. Oh, they didn't die. I thought that we just both, like, they suicided and we died. But they put on, like, a presentation for, um, Battlefield Hardline. And, uh, it was pretty cool. Like, a big screen, like, fantastic sound system and stuff. And it looked good. I was still... I was iffy at the time. Oh, we gotta get this guy! Yes! <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. I think that might be the last kill. How long we got? Pretty close. We got 45 points to get. And then we win, I think. Or we... Oh, no. Oh, shit. We're losing. 
What? Oh, man. Uh, but they put on a fancy presentation. It looked pretty good. I did... It met all my expectations, I'm going to say that. It looked good. Like, I thought single player. Oh, that looks interesting. There's rec recognizable actors. And that has delivered my exact thoughts on it. Multiplayer has also delivered my exact thoughts on it. And, like I said, that's not good. I'm just not keen. Like I said, it feels like a knockoff game. Like, like once again, cops and robbers. We got these, like, police cars. I'm telling... I gotta look it up. I'm positive Visceral Games made a Need for Speed game. And I'm feeling they just took that and made this. Uh, and we lost. Oh, that's sad. We got three kills and nine deaths. We got a good score, though. What did we come? I feel like we played pretty well. I like vehicles, so that seems like my kind of mode. Uh, we came second on our team. Can't complain with that. Three kills, nine. So, obviously we weren't focusing on getting kills. Oh no, we came third. What? What? I don't know, someone swapped teams? I'm pretty sure someone swapped teams or some crap. I don't know. But I mean, overall we came like 14th. So, average, I guess. Friends though. He's got some friends. I'm gonna fish it that way. Get out of here as quick as we can. Nope, we're getting domed. Okay, dokey. Not great. Not a great start. We could evolve. Not a good idea in the dome.